Consider now the case where both the magnitude and direction of the force vary and the object moves along a curved path. To determine the work done in this case, we divide the path of the object up into a large number of small displacements delta r, each pointing along the path in the direction of motion. The diagram shows two selected displacements delta r when the object is at two different positions. It also shows the force vector f at the two locations and notice how the magnitude and direction of f are different at the two positions. So therefore the vector f is a function of the position vector r. The work done on the object by the force F during a displacement delta R is given by delta W equal to the scalar product between F and delta R, which is equal to F cos theta times delta R. Therefore, the work done by the variable force F on the object as it moves, say, from position R1 to position R2 is given by the sum of all the delta w's, which is equal to the sum from r1 to r2 of the scalar product of f with delta r, which is equal to the sum from r of r1 